Hello, this is Mrs. Ridgeway. In this video, we're going to be creating data bars and spark lines. So turn with me to page 48 in chapter 4 of Excel. You can uh, create charts that appear within worksheet cells and that are part of the worksheet grid itself. Data bars are just one type of, of these types of charts. A data bar is a conditional format that adds a horizontal bar to a cell background. The length of the bar is based on the value stored in the cell. Cells storing larger values display longer data bars. Cells with smaller values have shorter bars. Okay, at the bottom of page 48, we're going to add data bars to the portfolio percentages in the worksheet. On the summary worksheet, select the range G32 through G43. G32 through G43. On the ribbon, click Home. In the Styles group, we're going to choose Conditional Formatting. And then we're going to choose, we're familiar with highlight sales rules and the top bottom rules. This time we're going to choose data bars. A gallery of data bar styles will open up. And then over in the gradient fill section, we're going to click the orange data bar style. Okay, orange data bars are added to the selected sales. Click cell E30, and this will deselect. The data bars make it easy to compare the relative size of the investment sectors for the Sunrise Fund. However, some of the data bars cover their cell value, and so uh, we want to shorten the length of the bars so that there is no overlap. All right, we're going to be modifying the data bar rule. By default, the cell with the largest value in the range will have a data bar that stretches across the width of the entire cell. You can modify the length of the data bars by altering the uh, rules of the conditional format. Right now, if you look at the data bars, you'll see that the health services stretch all the way across. To modify the data bar conditional formatting rule, on the Home tab in the Styles group, we're going to click the Conditional Formatting button. And then we're going to click Manage the Rules at the very bottom. The Conditional Format Rules Manager dialog box will open up, and it displays all the rules applied to any conditional format in this workbook. In the Show Formatting Rules box, select this workbook to show all the conditional formatting rules for this current sheet that we're working on. With the data bar rule selected, we're going to click the edit rule. The edit formatting rule dialog box opens up. In the type row, Click the maximum arrow and then choose number instead of automatic. And then tab or click to move the insertion point to the maximum box in the value row and type 20, 0.25. All data bar lengths will then be defined relative to this value. Click OK. Verify that the data bars no longer span the entire width of the selected cells. So I'm going to click OK. And now we can see it does not expand completely over. Now we're going to be creating spark lines. Another way of adding 
a chart to a sail is with a spark line, which is a small chart completely confined to the borders of a single sail. Excel supports three types of spark lines. Line spark lines, column spark lines, and win loss spark lines. I'm pointing to them, they're up here. Here's the line on the ribbon. I clicked on insert, we're looking at the insert ribbon, line, column, and the win loss on the ribbon. Figure 4-45 shows uh, spark line types. It compares the line spark line with the column spark line and the win slash loss spark line. The line spark line indicates the daily fluctuation in the selling price of each investment. The column spark line indicates the volume of shares traded. The win-loss spark lines displays a green block for positive values on those days in which the investment selling price increased, and then a red block for the days in which the selling price is declined. Turn with me to the bottom of page 52. We're going to create the line spark lines showing the sector history growth trends. Select the range H32 through H43. On the ribbon, click the Insert tab, and then in the Spark Lines group, click the Line button. The Create Spark Lines dialog box will open up. Make sure that the insertion point is in the data range or the date range, the date, yeah, data range, the data range box, and then click the sector history sheet tab at the bottom. Select the range B6 through M. 45 on the sector history sheet. This range contains the growth of investments in 12 economic sectors. Given a hypothetical 10,000 uh, initial investment, verify that your range H32 through H43 is entered into the location range right down here and it is absolute. Click OK to insert these spark lines into your range H32 through H43 of the summary sheet. The spark line tools design tab appears on the ribbon when your spark line is selected. And if you look up at the top, you'll see the design tab. Next, we're going to be formatting a spark line. Because of uh, their compact size, spark lines have fewer formatting options than other Excel charts. You can add data markers to highlight low and high values, initial and ending values, and negative values. To format the spark lines, we're going to make sure that the spark lines in the range H32 through H43 are selected. On the Sparkline Tools Design tab, in the Show group, so I'm going to move over to the Show group, click the High Point and the Low Point. Two data markers, if you'll look now in column H, two data markers appear on each Sparkline identify identifying the low and the high points. In the style group, up at the top in the ribbon, click spark line color button. And then click orange accent three, darker 25% theme color.
the sparkline colors change to orange. In the style group, click the marker color. Here's marker color button. Click high point. And then click green standard in the standard colors. The high point data marker color changes to green if you look in column H. Click the marker color again. And this time we're going to choose low point and click the red standard color. The low point data marker color changes to red. So the high point markers are green and the red markers for low point. Click cell I30 to deselect the spark lines and then save the workbook. Spark lines are grouped together by default so that the format choices are applied to every spark line chart in the group. To format a single spark line, we would need to click the cell containing that spark line and then click the ungroup button, which is located in the group group on spark line tools design tab. To regroup the spark lines, you would select all of the cells containing the spark lines and then click the group button in the group group. On page 56 is a um, figure 4-49 showing the final summary sheet. I guess they're not going to have us uh, change the colors of each one. So uh, this session two of Excel Chapter 4 is complete.